back to this General Electric story now. Uh, again, we're going to hear from Jeff Immel very shortly on the conference call. Greg Miles is going to be tracking that. But ahead of that, Carla Zilka, she's a former GE executive. She worked in its consumer finance division, and she's now a shareholder of the company, also the founder of NextGen Advisors, an operational restructuring firm. Carla joins us now with her perspective on the company and on what uh, Jeff Immelt needs to do. And there's a lot of pressure on Jeff Immelt, isn't there? I mean, the stock price has sort of been hovering here, hasn't been able to break out of $17. What does he need to tell people? What do they need to hear from him? You're a shareholder. What do you want to hear from him? Well, Jill, I think the most important thing is we want to hear that there is substantial growth ahead for GE. And if you think about them, they really are the best company from a portfolio and organization perspective. So they have this wonderful portfolio of businesses, including healthcare, infrastructure, energy, all really big growth industries to look forward to. And we're hoping that Jeff can really put a strategy together to focus on those as well as driving growth in their core businesses. Well, you talk about the core businesses and you mm -hmm. mentioned those core businesses, but GE has seen some challenges with its, you could argue, non-core businesses, GE Capital, for example. So what does uh, GE need to do to sort of deal with those peripheral businesses? Should it be getting rid of them? lessening the stake like it did with uh, NBC Universal, for example? Well, what we generally do with our companies that we advise is we tell them to focus on their business core competency. And GE's business core competency has always been consumer and industrial. Because of that, they need to really look at where should they invest their dollars. So if they have companies like GE Capital that are not their core, how can they use that and the dollars that are generated from that to invest in the companies that are their core? Maybe there's divestitures in play in the future. But right now, with the recession and the economy as it is, Jeff really needs to focus on those core businesses and getting the profit that they deserve. So when you've had some of these, um, some of these uh, stakes that have gone down, like NBC, for example, like security, it sounds like you want to see that money reinvested into what you call the core businesses. Correct. How exactly do you think it should be deployed here? What do you think, what do you want to see happen with infrastructure, health care, et cetera? Good question, Julie. And I think um, Jim Campbell stated in one of his interviews recently that Jeff told him to run the business like they're going to be in it for a long time. So what does that mean? That means investing in technology. It means investing in processes. It means investing in people. Looking at markets, geographies, products, services, all of the things that will really help drive greater revenue, greater profit, and the market leader position that GE has had for so long. So it's really important for Jeff and the leadership team to focus on those things to give the shareholders the security that they're looking for. Now, when you look at uh, GE Capital, get back to a problem area again, uh, what do you think of the ratios at that company, or at that unit, I should say, since again, it has been really a challenge for GE? Well, as you know, GE Capital is less than 50% of the revenue base, and I think you'll see that dwindling. Um, that's an important way for Jeff to be able to stabilize the portfolio. So whether you're going to see less investment or divestitures, that's a, p a particular area that Jeff needs to focus on to give stability to the shareholders as well as, in general, the, the GE um, consumers and the marketplace. Just very quickly here, uh, ML div did give a speech last week. Um, what did you think of his performance there? I think Jeff is a great is a great leader and he gives great enthusiasm to the people when he speaks. And that needs to be supported by not just the shareholders but by the consumers. So I think all in all Jeff is a great leader. He needs to focus. He needs to get respect and stability back into the core functions of GE. And that will then lead to the stability of the, of the stock price, as well as the stability from the consumers and the shareholders. Okay, Carla, thanks so much. Carla Zoka um, of NextGen. And I